Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle but I mostly talk about business and investments. At long last, G-Stocks is finally here. It was September last year when the Philippine stocks icon under G-Invest first came around. I don't know about you but I've been excited about this. So much so that I've already made a few videos on this on the past. So I listed in my previous videos my expectations and perhaps even a wish list of what I think the new feature should have so that it can really push Philippine stock trading to the next level. As of June 1st, I was finally able to start registering for G stocks. So it's been a few days that I've been able to use the app where my expectations and my wish list met. That's what we'll look to cover. So as always, let's go. So to access G stocks from the main section, click on G invest. And once you click on G stocks PH, this will bring you to the registration section. For this registration process, you have to disclose just the usuals, you know, your name, birthday, address, so on and so forth. You have to share a selfie as is typical now for most uh, KYC or know your customer registration processes. And after going through this initial registration, you are actually told to wait. Uh, I think it's one to three business days. I registered on June 1 and I got an email on June the 4th. So June 1st was actually a Thursday. So I was surprised to see an email on June 4th, Sunday. So good stepping up from Gcash on this. So after confirming the initial registration, you can now move on to a second registration process. You are now led to the main banner of GStocks PH. And under this, it says select your broker. Uh, initially, now G Stocks is working with AB Capital Securities. And I'm not sure on this, but since there is the select your broker feature, I think G Stocks will eventually be featuring other brokers as well. Anyway, that's in the future. We don't need to know that just now. So once you select AB Capital Securities, you again go through another registration process. Again, it's mostly the same stuff that we just disclosed. Here, you'll disclose your income and the initial range of the investment that you want to put in. You will also need to take a picture of a piece of paper where you sign three times. So this process is quite similar to how it would be when you open an account with a bank and other financial institutions. And from the email, I was told that the processing time would be about seven days. Immediately on June 5th, I got an email from AB Capital. They just wanted to verify what previous brokerage was I actually invested through because in the second registration you are asked if you have an existing investment account through another brokerage so I immediately replied that I was invested through BDO Securities and the day after that June 6 happily I got my confirmation so it was relatively quick now that I was registered I can now go through topping up of my account so from the main page you are able to transfer funds from your Gcash wallet into your AB Capital Securities wallet. So this feature is similar to that of Gcrypto, wherein you have to move funds from your main Gcash wallet. Again, I don't know why it's not as straightforward. So for the G Fund section, it remains that you don't have to transfer from one wallet to another before you're able to invest. So anyway, I topped up my wallet from Gcash with the minimum sum of 1,000 pesos. And unfortunately, the crediting process won't happen until one full business day. So I had to wait until June 7th when the balance was reflected. So let me walk you through the process of buying a stock. So for the second row, click on buy and sell and you are actually led to AB Capital TradeX Mobile. For those of you who are new to stock investing, don't be too intimidated with this. Basically what's summarized here is the stock or ticker name, the bid and the ask. You can also see the last rated price, time and the variance. So from the main page, you can see the top 30 stocks from the PSEI that are trading. You can also click on market summary of how the whole market is performing. And you can also make alerts and favorites about certain stocks that you maybe want to keep your eye on. Here you can see the top performers for the day, the gainers, losers, movers, and the bid and ask price. I was trying to see here if I can purchase stocks for a really low amount, let's say under 1,000 pesos. So the quantity that you can buy for a certain stock would be listed in whole numbers of fives, tens, hundreds, 500. So I put in my order for ASEN or Ayala Corp Energy. So for AC Energy, 
my initial top up of 1000 would be able to meet the minimum quantity you are actually able to indicate the price that you want to buy in so this would be in line to the typical local trading platforms one of the downsides of the global stock platforms that i mentioned in my previous videos would be always buying at market rate rather than buying or selling at a bid rate that you are amenable to so basically that is a quick run through of ab capital on g stocks let me share with you now my own personal observations again in line with my previously mentioned expectations and wish list on what g stocks could cover in my previous video i mentioned that i was quite fearful if the g cash app known for stalling or being offline would be able to handle the complexity of a stock trading app so i was expecting that the user interface may be a little watered down maybe it's going to be oversimplified but for the most part i am happy with the user interface that ab capital is giving us ng stocks so even though there may be a little less features than it would be for a desktop version i think it pretty much captures the usual main features of a stock trading platform so let's move on to my second observation so i mentioned that the processing times were according to what g stocks g cash and ab capital actually promises us so the lead times were good in fact they over delivered but i guess i would have liked it better if i was able to immediately register maybe the registration process can be just one instead of two um i'm not really complaining i understand the need for some time to be able to properly filter for the change of hands of the money again from gcash to ab capital i know that may take some time there's a lot of work that goes into it but i guess i'm also comparing this to my previous experience with bpi trade and bdo securities when you move your money from your main savings account to your trading account it happens instantaneously so again it's not all that bad I'm happy that they are able to follow through on their lead times and processing times. But maybe, just maybe in the future, it can even be quicker. And lastly, we move on to my wish list. Since G Invest launched with a lot of fanfare, to be able to invest in mutual funds and UITFs for as low as 50 pesos. And when Gcash also announced that they will be launching a global stocks feature, they also announced that they will be offering US stocks for as little as $1, which is what their competitors are doing now. So what I was expecting that Gcash would do would be that they would meet the minimums of G funds, again, where you can buy mutual funds and UITFs for as little as 50 pesos. So yes, I was hoping that they'll find a way to be able to purchase Philippine stocks for as low as 50 pesos. Unfortunately, that's not the case, and I can't blame them for that. In fact, that's what I also mentioned in my previous video, that in the US, they are able to offer stocks for as low as $1 because legally, they have the provision to sell fractional shares. And unfortunately, fractional shares just isn't a thing yet here in the Philippines. Also, in those global stock platforms, they are able to offer stocks commission free again unfortunately this isn't the case with g stocks but yes it was just a wish list um i'm not taking it against them that they are not able to do this but i hope that's something that we not only gcash but the whole um, industry can look into so as a summary the ab capital partnership with g stocks is actually worth applauding i think the availability to trade philippine stocks on gcash is definitely a game changer. It will bring stock trading to more Filipinos just because of the penetration of Gcash. Is it the super game changer that I was hoping that it would be bringing very, very cheap local stocks to every Filipino? Unfortunately not, but it's a game changer nonetheless because stock trading is now at our fingertips. The registration process, even though it took one day each, is a lot simpler than how it used to be. I mean, I've had a stock trading account back when I had thick hair still, <laughs> so it's been a while. And I remember then you have to open a different savings account. You have to go all through this paperwork. So it was a lot of hassle, but now it's all there. It's simplified. And I think all of us should be giving this a shot because we no longer have a reason why we shouldn't be investing. So what do you think? Will this be the first time that you will be investing in Philippine stocks? If you are like me and you are already working with a different platform before, what do you think about AB Capital and G Stocks? Let me know in the comment section. 
If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing!